So I'll just, I'm just going to send you all these swings over and just make sure okay. you're happy with what we discussed. Okay. Um, the only thing we were trying to affect was your centeredness of strike. So where the ball hits the face. Right. When you was warming up and hitting some balls, you hit two or three, four lovely golf shots. Yeah. Not got a problem with power, yeah. but then you threw in some of those ones where you just miscontacted them com completely and, and predominantly where you hit top of the ball. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we were looking at. So the first thing we've uh, we've had a look at is just how you stand and, and you and your posture. Um, so we've lowered your arms a little bit more underneath your shoulders. We've pushed your hands a little bit lower over here on the right, and that's given you a little bit more angle between your arms and the golf club. So your your wrist is already slightly cocked when you start, just slightly. Yeah. Whereas over on this left side, it's a uh, so straight line. So that was the first thing we focused on. The second thing we focused on was just tipping the pelvis forward a little bit, just a fraction. So as you pushed your hands down lower, you just tip the pelvis over as, as well and taking you a little bit closer to the ball. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've kept your weight or your pressure kind of in the, in the laces, in the middle of your feet. The last thing you want to do is be is be sitting back here. Um, we also just touched on flex of knees as well, didn't we? So that yeah. your knees are not too obviously when you when, as we discussed when you flex your knees, it tips your pelvis the opposite the opposite way. The other big change on the right hand side is that club in the video is half an inch longer than standard. So it's a longer golf club. That is about three quarters of an inch longer than the club on the left side they're the big differences so three things arms are lower which is giving you some angle pelvis is tilted a little bit more club on the right is slightly lower and you got into a quite a good quite a good pattern didn't you yeah um, better, yeah yeah the only thing um, we kind of just touched on just make sure as you hit the ball, you continue to use your feet really nicely because you were, you were doing that quite nice at the start. Uh, and, and this new posture, we, we kind of lost that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you've got loads of good stuff going on with your, with your technique and how you deliver the club. Loads and loads of, of really good stuff. So I get down to 20 this year. <laughs> oh, if, if, with a little bit of tidying up, you can do that <clears throat> easily. You know, that's, I, I go even I, I'd aim a little bit higher than that, I'd go for 18. Um, just make sure your lower body keeps turning through the ball. You, you were doing that better at the start of the session before I ruined you. Yeah, ruined me strong, <laughs> ruined your life, swing. ruined your day. <laughs> ruined me golf, yeah. Um, so you were, you were turning through the ball a little bit freer from your yeah. more comfortable posture. So just, just keep an eye on that. But you, you really started to get into a good rhythm and, uh, it's and it's a good chat. There's not, well, there's no difference between the... The, the position of the club there, although my, no. as you say, I haven't turned. Your body, that, a, your body on this right side is not not as free, is it? It's no. not. Um, it's a little bit more this way, yeah. and this is just released a little bit more because of you, because of what your lower body's done. But yeah. you can put that in. You, you just keep an eye on it. Just, just keep an eye on it. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank, thank no problem. Very good. I'm going to play a couple of rounds and I'm going to come back and you're going to tell me what. Perfect. I'm